Hello everybody, I got done with my animation for this year's shitstorm pretty recently, and I was sitting here feeling good about myself, about the fact that I don't have to work for a little bit. Then I remembered, you know, it's actually been a while since I've released something. And the uh, animation won't be released on my channel right away, since it, you know, has to be up on theirs first and so on and so forth. So I decided, you know what, I'll just do a little, like, quick little sketcheroo kind of thing. And I had the idea of, actually I had a greater idea of what if I had 31 days of monster women for Halloween, you know, in, in October. And then I thought, no, nah, that's, that's a lot of work, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Plus, I made no preparations. Uh, if you know anything about doing sort of daily projects in art, then they're very unreliable, and you never know if something's going to come up that will prevent you from doing something for one day, so... Kind of a bad idea, then I thought, what if I did one for one, you know, one a week or something? I thought, eh, it's not really that satisfying either. And I thought, you know what, I'll just think about it until next year. So, keep that stirring around in your heads. I guess you can offer up suggestions that I will completely ignore, because that's what I always do. But, I decided, you know what, I'll just go on Twitter real fast and ask you guys, what's your favorite type of Monster Girl? And of course, any time that I give you guys the opportunity to participate in any level like that, you jump right on board and you offered up many, many suggestions, including dragons, which I'm going to ignore. But it was uh, primarily, uh, I think, dragons, slime girls, and spiders is mainly what you guys seem, seem to be jumping on board. So I kind of sat there looking at it and then I thought, yeah, fuck dragons. And then after that, I thought, you know, what I have not really seen is a jumping spider girl. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to try to make a jumping spider girl. Now, I really like jumping spiders. If you're like freaking out on the, like as soon as this popped up on screen, you're like jumping. Uh, too bad. Like, you're, you're a child. Come on, get over it. Stop it. But I have an actual phobia. Eh, I don't care. I'm insensitive to your plight, I guess. Um, jumping spiders are super cute. They're very cute. Uh, and a lot of that, like, they're, of course, yeah, well, they're the same thing as normal spiders. Just they're not friendlier than an ordinary spider would be, I guess. But, you know, there's a little bit of a, uh, I don't even know what to call it. But the, the same things that register with uh, people in regards to, like, looking at babies or, you know, looking like, looking at dumb, gigantic-eyed moe anime creatures beings whose eyes occupy 85% of their skulls. You know, it kind of triggers the same thing. And jumping spiders are no exception to this because they are just little darlings. Plus, they like to wear water droplets on their heads sometimes, which is super cute. And also, they like to eat bugs and devour them and, you know, liquefy their insides, which is also cute, by my standards. Okay. So, this is not... This is all going to be live commentary. It's off the cuff. Um, I'm... I'm not going to complete this. Like, I'm not going to, like, sit down and color it and so forth and so on. But I mainly just wanted to go over this real fast to do another little demonstration of a sort of how I design sort of thing. I have not practiced this at all. I have no practice. I have not thought about this. I just loaded up these pictures, and I'm just starting right now. Like, this is the start of the commentary. I've had no prep time whatsoever. So, just looking at this. Bare minimum ideas. Oh, first off. What kind of monster girl do we want? Do we want... Of course it's going to be a monster girl. What do you think I'm going to make a monster man? Pervert. But uh, let's do some real fast little demonstration things. Let's say that we have, you know, a humanoid form. Generally, you're going to want to have a humanoid form in some capacity. It doesn't really matter... It doesn't really matter if you kind of fluff up like, extraneous details on it, but the general gist of making a sort of an attractive monster girl is... One of the problems people have is that they will try to make the monster first and then make the girl. But when it comes down to it, like, uh... You know, the Cali Briggs of the world or whatever... They're, main, they're basically just women that are sort of gussied up to have animal or insect or whatever themes to them. That's basically what it is. So whenever the human eye looks at them, what we're actually seeing is the same thing that we're registered, that our brain is used to, you know, it triggers something and it's like, oh, lady, or oh, man, or oh, both, or zeer, or whatever stupid Tumblr thing you have going on. And so it doesn't matter. Because what's actually going on is that you're looking at, as I talked about in my proportions video, 
you're actually looking at the sort of uh, general proportion, the, the way that mathematically our brains are meant to look at something and then register attractive. You now instantly, just... It, I forget what the stat is. It's like in the first three seconds of looking at someone, we can know instantly if we're going to be attracted to them or not. And we make that decision subconsciously. Like, it's that important. So whenever you're doing this, you kind of do need to start with a just general base of the thing that you're kind of leaning towards. But anyways, two types that we can work with. And both of them are probably going to use sort of this upper torso range. We can make a jumping spider lady that has a lot of, you know, kind of this detail work on her. But she has, you know, jumping spider legs because, you know, jumping spider, I guess, is one way of looking at it. Uh, probably the um, one that probably people want to see more would probably be one in which there's the kind of lower half. And this is not going to be the actual primary, but you guys get the idea where you have many different legs. And it's kind of the typical weeaboo uh, spider girl sort of thing. Most of you guys were pointing to that lady from Monster Bitsune or whatever it's called. Eh, she's okay, I guess. But there's been better. So, those are sort of two options. Is there a third one that I can think of? One in which it's basically humanoid. One in which the lower hat is kind of a centaur thing, where it's you're kind of just combining the two. I mean, there's a, a third one in which the top half would be sort of very monstrous looking, and the bottom half would be a lady. Uh, but again, that's that's cute that you can draw something like that. It's very entertaining, but it doesn't go by the guidelines that I just laid out. Um, let's see. The arms, I guess, is another way that you could look at it. Yeah, you could have sort of a... You could have a thing where there's multiple arms. So one, two, three, four, and then you need the extra two where you have one, two down here. And the third one, or the other ones, I guess, you could have, like, a, two extra arms up here. That's sort of a, what a Muffet from Undertale, I guess, is the most readable... readable? The most readily accessible example of this would be uh, a Muffet, since she kind of looks just like that. So that's kind of our three options, I guess. Where we're still sort of abiding by everything, and, and, uh, and you could even combine that sort of... Uh, back-end thing along with that. So those are options, three options that I think would be pretty good to start out with. I'm not sure which one I want to use, though. Let's see. Since it is it is a jumping spider, I think I actually do want to go the weeaboo route and put a lot more emphasis on the legs. But the thing I want to avoid is having the upper half just be a generic uh, lady. So what I might do is have the is have a combination where let's see where it is sort of like this where you have two legs on the lower half but two arms on the upper half and no legs down here <laughs> it's either legs or something else suspicious going on uh, so something like that, I think, would be a good idea. Okay, that's going to be my working concept. I think I'm going to roll with this. as my general idea. Okay. So, first things first, let's get a basic, really basic outline of the lady. And don't do anything too fancy, as far as the pose goes, because this is mainly for the, the sake of doing a... Uh, a concept work. So there's no real point in trying to make her like jumping across the screen or anything just yet. That will be for uh, things that come later. Like anytime that you view concept art, usually the thumbnails that people still that that people work across first are going to be these very static shots that are meant to uh, show as much detail as possible, and then. Once you have that worked out, large hips, yes, yes, then once you have that worked out, then you can get into your cutesy little phase where they're doing all sorts of dumb poses. Until then, you need to work on the details. Okay, so first off, what I want to do, 
This is going to be more of a spider woman with this pose that I'm creating here, which I did not really expect. I kind of, for some reason, started thought it, thinking that it was going to be much more cutesy because of the jumping spider-isms. But there's just some things that I can't get away with. Get away from in regards to my own desires. And that's one of them. Because I like me a strong woman, that's for sure. Physically strong, I suppose, but more importantly, strength of character. Ones that are aggressive and know what they want. I really like those. Yes. Yes! I like that quite a bit. Alright. So, don't need to work out too much here. And a lot of this we're going to work back over as well. Because there's going to be some detail work. Again, whenever we're first... Actually, what I... Hmm. No, no, I'm getting, I'm getting ahead of myself. I was about to say we could do things like reduce the number of digits and so on and so forth, but that's something for a little bit later. Uh, for now, let's let's give her a little drape down here because that's where the spinnerets are located. That's what I'll say, yes. The, the, even though the spinnerets would be back here somewhere. But no, 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 just... Uh, that's what we'll say because there's other suspicious things that might be hanging out in that area. We don't need to worry about that too much just yet. Not yet, anyways. And so, let's actually now take a little bit of a closer look at our buddies over here. Now, most of the thing we had. This is the important part of this. Uh, this is probably something a bit more for the detail layer, uh, the detailing later. But it's important to identify what exactly is appealing about the thing that you're trying to emulate. If you're doing a Monster Girl design. You really need to identify what it is about the monster component that you're trying to draw out. And with jumping spiders, I would say, let's make an extra layer here. With jumping spiders, say the first, the most obvious thing is the little mask area. You know, the eyes, the big puppy dog eyes of, can I kill, please? You're like, okay, you may kill. Kill all the things in my house for me. Yay, murder. And that's how jumping spiders are. They're cuties. Uh, let's see. I would say the mask is one. <laughs> this one, tilting its head. I think the other one would probably be the uh, uh, pedipalps, I think is what these are called. Males use them to deposit sperm. Yes, yes, yes. But even though these are kind of mouthpieces, don't be too literal. To me, to me the value of these is that they kind of give me the impression that it's sort of like a little dog or something with its paws held up in front of its face. Like it's kind of scared or something. So that's kind of the impression I get from them. Like whenever I look at them. Like I'm not literally looking at them as like mouth components or something. It's triggering something in my brain personally, and this might be different for you, where I kind of view them as being hands in a way. Like my brain sort of tries to interpret it that way. Which I guess is where my kind of cutesy thing was coming from. So, one thing that I actually want to do... Is kind of... Just carry that over real fast. I'm not sure where I'm going to have those, but I'm going to put these down here on another layer to remind myself to do that. And I'll probably be a little bit further up. So like that. Yeah, I'll work back over this in a second with another uh, primary. <laughs> A <laughs> water droplet hit. Um, but that's basically it for the the jumping spider in terms of that. Um, the other thing that I would say is that they're very fuzzy. Like, a, on a lot of spiders, they can be kind of creepy. Because, you know, they have these kind of stalk limbs. And then there's just little hairs just popping out everywhere. But for the, the really cutesy jumping spiders, I would say that it's mainly because they look really fuzzy. They look like if they were like the size of like a dog or something, then you would pet them and they would make a little chirping noise and then maybe devour you. You know, who knows. But they're very, very fuzzy. And they're also very stocky. Like, they're very... Uh, their bodies are very truncated. They have very big heads compared to the rest of their body, or what we would interpret as being heads. So as a result, that's sort of triggering that sort of moe look where, you know, it's sort of emulating infancy, where our brains are registered to try to take care of things that have big heads and small bodies because, you know, babies are like that. 
because, you know, our heads don't really grow. They sort of just, our bodies grow around them for the most part. So, that's probably the things to keep in mind. Let's write that down, actually. Fuzzy Wuzzy, and I will write Wuzzy because it makes me happy. Big eyes, big ol' eyes, more importantly. And little teeny arms. And big ol' head. Okay, those are our four elements that we're looking for, right? Right? Yes, yes. So we're looking for, to incorporate inside of our monster lady, she needs to be fuzzy wuzzy. She needs to have some big ol' eyes, which probably shouldn't be that much of a trouble. You don't want to go overboard, though. You don't want to go overboard. She needs to have those little teeny arms, and she needs to have a big ol' head. And, uh... Big ol' ass. Just in case. Just in case. I'm just saying. All right. Let's bear that in mind. So, first off, I think I actually want to get rid of these real fast. Oh, my arms! Oh, God! Ah, uh, y'all grow them back soon enough. You're fine. Okay. So, very fast. Grow the head. Yes. She's probably going to end up looking kind of more childlike. It was why I originally thought it was going to be kind of weeaboo-esque. So, let's see. I think I will sort of incorporate the idea of... Uh, the uh, arms, or the, the fingers being uh, less than uh, the normal amount of digits. Not too much, though. I'm uh, not going to focus too much on working out the details of what that would actually look like, so much as I need to position these into a position. The, the problem with this, though, the problem with this is that her arms can't always be doing this in every single posture that you see her in. So that does sort of evoke the same thing. But one thing that we could actually do is kind of give her some weird hair or something that sort of evokes the same sort of deal. Lower the range of her vision. Brings down her vision some. Give her some eyes like this. Something of that nature. And all of them have masks, you will see. I did mention that, but I didn't write it down. But they all have the, this uh, sort of line right here that goes above their mouth. Now, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to incorporate that, though. She needs to, like, you can't just have her have a mask or something. But, I think the nose is probably going to be the biggest problem there. But I'll just leave that there as a marker so that it reminds me later that I need to fix it. Probably won't have much of a presence of hair one way or the other. We can give her hair, of course. But it won't be like this big, poofy 80s rocks. Oh, I'm so sexy. It won't be anything like that. So, it probably, if she does have a hairstyle... It's probably going to be very flattened out. Something like that. Definitely not that, but something just to remind me that it's there. And let's see. Let's go ahead and work our legs down here into it. Oh, man. <laughs> Without them being the spider legs, this looks very provocative, doesn't it? Shh, don't. Don't let your parents walk into the room. Oh god, I've got to hurry and draw this. But it looks something like this, I guess. And, uh... I actually have it spread out a little bit more. Like, they need to be truncated enough to it so that it evokes the same sort of feeling of it being cutesy. But long enough that it still fits with the uh, proportions of a uh, sort of humanoid figure. And jumping spiders don't tend to have big, uh, I know I wrote big ol' ass, but, uh, whatever this, the fuck the, the back end is really called exactly, the 
rear of the abdominal region. Um, I can't remember my... How did I remember pedipalps? I can't remember that. But uh, they, they tend to not have really huge ones because, you know, they're jumping spiders. They need to have most of their weight shifted to certain areas of their body. Um, so don't give it like a giant thing back here or anything like that. It needs to be fairly, fairly small. Okay, so something sort of similar to that. I'm going to redraw this a few times. And let's see. Arms. Where do I want the arms? You got to evoke the same sense of uh, it being humanoid. You do need to have one set that's kind of right here. I think I'll do that thing with her arms just because. And the other set... The other set... Let's see. Actually, hold on. This is one of the problems with designing uh, multi-armed people. Is you need to be able to have enough room to be able to put everything. So, I think what I'll actually do... Put a couple of hands down here where those are going to be... I'll worry about which one... Start attaching the what in a second. Then I'll put the other set of hands up here. And I'll just draw little squares to indicate where exactly those are. Because it doesn't really matter. And I think it would make more sense for the upper ones to be up here. And these will be kind of back here. I can't really see them. Where it joins, anyways. And those will kind of protrude from her lower back, I guess. be the easiest thing. So it'll be sort of like that. Okay, general premise. Very general premise. Okay, we can get rid of our big old ass list. Okay. We have our first very general purpose kind of poopy concept, which is just fine. Remember, the fun of drawing is to be able to progress. So if you don't start at a point where you're not happy with something, you're probably not going to be happy with the final result either. If you just start out and immediately looks good to you, it, <laughs> it's kind of weird, but if you, if you start drawing and immediately starts looking good, like, oh, yes, 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 probably by the end of the drawing, you're going to be disappointed. It's a weird thing. Uh, so let's actually, what, something I want to do, actually let me draw back over real fast. Let's start in another color so that it's a little easier to see. But something I wanted to do, this is do very basic sort of sketch work right here, is I wanted to be able to have more of a side view so that you could actually see her ass, so that you could see more details including her ass. So we get something a bit more like this. Have to be careful though. I don't want to completely obscure this part of it. I think what I'll do... is have it hang back like that. That's probably a good compromise, I guess. And then we'll do the same thing over here. If we make these flesh-colored her legs, that's going to be really weird looking. <laughs> that would probably freak people out. <laughs> you want to avoid doing stuff like that, too. Even though it's kind of fun. Even though it's kind of fun, you might want to avoid doing it. So her basic proportions look something like this. The problem with d designing monster women, or spider women specifically, is that they tend to be very congested like this. Which is fine. Could be better, though. Uh, basic proportions of the head. Needs to occupy about that amount of space, I guess. And I guess her hair... I will kind of just go with it being hair. Sort of like that. I need to keep hair away from her eyes, though, which is going to be a big problem. Hmm. I wonder how I can deal with that. There's probably not too many things that you can really do to it. Uh, let's see. I'm looking at... I'm going to look at a picture real fast. Yeah. I could do something like that. I could part it. To one side. I really just don't want to have too many bangs concealing things. Eye is going to be somewhere around here. 
And of course, can't forget our little bitty mask. Although, I think how I might actually do that, kind of just do it like that, yeah. Sorry, <laughs> I get into that. Whenever you're drawing, you do kind of get into a state of just sitting there trying to evaluate things. I know on stream, people can get very irritated with that sort of thing, but that's just part of it. And so, I guess, let's see, the top end, they always kind of also had these little horns. You ever notice that on the jumping spiders? They always had these little bitty horns sticking up. That's the thing I could carry over. I'm not sure how exactly I would carry it over, though. I guess it would be have to be something like uh, like one little spike of hair here, and then one that's more like that. Have her hair a little be a little bit crazier, so it's kind of more of a bedhead look to it. Yeah, okay, I can sort of work with that. All right, so step one over here. You go over here. No one loves you anymore. We got the new hot shit now. Blow it up some. Let's reduce our reference down once again. Boop. And then work back over our new reference. And this seems like, oh, this takes a long time. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> it's part of drawing. It's never going to be right the first time. If you think it is, you're just fooling yourself. Okay, so again, don't focus on details. Like, try restrain yourself from focusing on details. Just draw the body shape as it should be, as close as you can get it. And again, the arms are going to come out from here, but you won't really see it. Other set of arms down here. I did find it cute, though, that our arms are held out like this. And then she probably eats you anyways. And all those spider women, they are naughty. Extremely naughty. Just like me. Gotta be sure we add this uh, quote-unquote spinneret loincloth. Don't want anyone to see anything going on down there. That's dangerous territory. Okay. And so we end up... How many segments do they have? Let me look at that real fast. I forget how many it is, but... Rem remember, it doesn't have to be accurate scientifically. You just need to look at how many are visible. So, one, two three in terms of the ones that are away from the body. So, one, two, three. Now there might be more down here, but I'm not concerned about it because whenever you look at a jumping spider, that's not what you see. Like, you would really have to start examining it very thoroughly to notice any sort of discrepancy with it. So, remember, we're just trying to design around evoking the same thing that our eyes see whenever we look at a jumping spider. Whoops. And this one probably actually needs to go a bit more like here. We won't actually see much of that leg. And let's try to get a little bit more right there where we actually sort of get more of a suggestion that her uh, abdomen is there, thorax, whatever. Central line, rib cage is what that is. I tend to like to draw that just to give me a, a reminder of where all the proportions that are thing are going to stick. Now here, I think I actually want to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to make another layer for a head, just so that I can focus a little bit more than not at all on these proportions. Remember, she's supposed to be fuzzy. Something that we can't forget. That's going to be in the next primary. <laughs> the next one? Oh my god, boy. I know, right? It's crazy. It's almost like it actually involves work and practice and thinking about things. It's a nightmare. All right. And again, we need the little pedipalp sort of looking thing. Which is kind of difficult to pull off. Because the pedipalp sort of area is rounded off. But the way we're doing it is, is it supposed, it's supposed to be hair. So 
If this was something where we were drawing it realistically, it would make no sense whatsoever. But since we're doing this in cartoon form, then it doesn't really matter what we're doing. We can do whatever the hell we want to. Yes. Okay. Let's put the nose down here. Again, it has to look somewhat human. Like, if you're one of those people... Here, let me rant about this for a little bit. Like, people that see, uh, like, Argonians in Elder Scroll games, or... Like, I could have easily done a Lizard Woman thing. Actually, their eyes are kind of more roundish. Need to get out of my habit of doing that. I could have easily done a Lizard Girl video. And one of the things people always come like, Why do the lizard have boobs? Huh? And a lot of people, like... I was thinking about this last night, I can't remember the context. But a lot of people will go out of their way, like if you're working with another designer, will go out of their way to intentionally try to ruin, like, a design. Like, they'll, they'll try to make it look as non-sexy as they can, I guess. Because they look at something that has boobs and they're like, Oh, I know what this is for. Oh, oh. And then they go out of their way to try to make sure that it's... Like, a, like... No, that's, that's too specific. I was going to say something like, if you are um, talking about... Like, mermaids is a great example. Like, when people are talking about uh, mermaids, uh, and there's always going to be that guy on the online forum, oh, you can't even have sex with him. They'll just lay their eggs and then just fly away. Like, one of those little assholes. Like, there's always going to be those dudes. But, but, the problem with that is, like, if we're designing a, a lizard girl... That has boobs. She's a lizard girl. Like, she has every other human element in her design. She's humanoid, for one. How many animals are humanoid? No lizards, that's for damn sure. She can talk. She walks around on bipedal legs. No, she has, like, vocal cords and shit. She has humanoid facial features. Might even have hair. Like, every single human element. Because that's the point. Like, that's the whole point of designing things like that. And here you are, like, why does he got boobs? Well, gee, I fucking wonder why. Wise ass. Why does it have every other human element in its design? Could it be because we're designing a fucking human that's supposed to look monstrous? Maybe? Who can say? But you guys get the idea. Okay. So, rough idea. Still don't really like exactly where her face is heading. To me, it looks more like she's a, a superhero wearing a mask or something. So I wonder if there's a way that I can actually incorporate... Incorporate that into this. This is one of the th these things where I probably would sit here for like the next you know, hour or two, just working back over it over and over and over again. Come on, eraser. There you go. And of course, if you do literal mouth things down here, then you end up with something like this, <laughs> which is kind of entertaining, but again, is defeating the purpose of doing it the way that we're supposed to be doing it. So we'll just give her a little happy smiley face. And we'll do something that's more evocative of a nose rather than just being a nose. Something like that, I guess. I would have to work back over it several times. But either way, let's just work with this as a general idea. Yeah, I'm going to have to adjust some of the proportions of these legs. One of the problems of doing these quick sketches is that you'll run into this issue pretty readily where you are uh, kind of skewing things or you know but they're just primaries it doesn't really matter all that much hmm actually hold on whoop, whoop, whoop. let's actually do that to the other side they'd probably be more appropriate so it'll probably be somewhere down here that's where that actually needs to be somewhere in that range Yes, right there, here. Okay, you kind of have to sort of work out the mental math of it ever so often. 
All right, so primary number three. And then I'll do one last one. And then that will be my quote unquote final. And of course, as always, keep mirroring the shit out of your drawing because you will fuck it up. You will. Well, if I'm good enough. No, you will. You will destroy. You will absolutely destroy it. Okay, so first things first. Actually, their heads too kind of had this weird little. They kind of. They look like a flan. Like their heads look like little things of flan. That weird dessert. Little cutie pies. I could make her look more comical, I guess. Like, I wanted to look cute, but it'd be easy, it'd be pretty easy to just make it look kind of silly. Like, she has a little head, like raccoon hair or something like that. Don't think I want to do that, though. Yep, definitely don't want to do that specifically. And actually, like, if I, what I could do is, like, there's headdresses and stuff that I could put on her that would sort of evoke the same sort of general idea. I wonder actually, hold on. I wonder if I could sort of get away with... actually making it... something that does extend from the hair. but still looks like it has some sort of function. Maybe if I look, make it look like... Sort of like that, I guess. Where it's a little bit closer to the mouth. Like I said, this is one of those things where I'd spend quite a bit of time just working back over and over and over and over again until I figure out what exactly it is that I want. But that's part of the design process too, unfortunately, of just getting things wrong and not hitting the nail on the head, as it were. And you just, just have, have to keep working back through it over and over and over until you actually get something that's like, oh, this, this is what I wanted. And of course, in character design, sometimes it can take months or even years, for that matter, to actually get something absolutely perfect. To the point where you're like, ah, yes, this is absolutely 100% exactly what I want it to be. And even then, like later on, I'm sure you'll run into it later where you're like, oh, wait, it actually could have been this other thing. And that's where new characters can come from in the middle of a series or an arc and stuff like that. But you guys all know this. You're all filthy weebs. I'm sure you have plenty of experience with that shit. Ah, damn eraser. One thing I kind of considered doing, <laughs> giving her glasses, <laughs> don't make any sense, because there's also another set of eyes up here. <laughs> I don't. It can be like that. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna keep that it's stupid. I think it makes it look worse in a way, but I don't really care. And then. <laughs> I don't know, just for some reason the the fuzzled hair and the the weird glasses sort of thing amuse me. And then uh <laughs> down here. Um like the, the the body can be anything, I guess. Like this I'm sure she would actually have like clothing on. Says so she looks like a Crazy scientist lady. Maybe we'll make her a crazy scientist lady. How about that? And we'll give her a lab coat. And it'll be really disheveled. And she's kind of a mess. She doesn't know what she's doing. Like those pictures of dogs on the internet. Where they really hope that no one can figure out that they're actually incompetent. That's the feeling of adults, you know? People always, like, kids always assume that whenever they, when I grow up, I'll know exactly what's going No, no one does. Like, the President of the United States, or the Tsar of Russia, <laughs> Tsar of Russia. Uh, or just whatever. 
Um, all of us, all of us, like every single adult, we're actually just big kids. Like every single one of us. All of us kind of barely know what we're doing in life. Every last human being alive. And if anyone ever tries to portray themselves as being, I know exactly, I'm completely in charge. It's because they're trying to evoke that. They don't actually know what they are doing. Like, we, of course, know our professions. Like, I know what I'm doing in regards to drawing, but when it comes down to it, you know, all of us are struggling to keep up the illusion that we are people that we wish to present ourselves as being. Like, we're all aspiring to be cliches of adults that we're raised to believe exist that don't actually exist. Every last human being alive is just struggling every day to maintain that illusion, not only for other people, but also themselves. Why did I get on that? Oh, because she's she's fucking crazy. So, usually I tend to like people that sort of acknowledge this and are pretty irreverent. Like, if you haven't noticed, I'm a very reverent person myself. I don't care about the illusions of, you know, the illusions of control and you know, people that try to present themselves as being very important. You know, and, oh, I'm just, I'm so amazing, you know. I'm the president of the universe. You need to bow down and respect me. And I'm like, you're just some fucking kid. Like, you're a kid that just so happened to grow up to be 30-something years old or 40-whatever. It doesn't fucking matter. Like, I can see through you. I can see through everyone because I know exactly what it's like to be you. Because I'm also human. Like, don't try to fool me. <laughs> I know better. I'm that kind of person. So, uh... Whenever you get into things like uh, character design and stuff like that. I also had that sort of impression of people. Like, I I tend to have this idea that everyone is see-through. Everyone's translucent. Everyone is trying. Everyone is failing. But what matters is that you keep trying. And what matters is that you keep failing. And what matters is that uh, even if you are just a consistent fuck-up, you're still trying to improve. Because no one is perfect, no one knows exactly what it is that they're doing in life. Because life, is, it's not really hard, it's just, it's not even complicated. It just is. It's just something that we all have to deal with. And there's a lot of factors to have to balance. Even if a lot of them are easy and a lot of them are stupid. Which a lot of them are, for that matter. Like taxes is a, is a great example. Like, I thought taxes, oh, it's this big, elaborate thing. I'll never be able to do that. But really, I just, like, here's the things that I bought this quarter. Like, I had to report quarterly. Uh, like, whenever I first started having to report quarterly because of uh, Patreon, that really kind of freaked me out until I realized, oh, actually, it's just nothing. But I just write down, here are the things that I bought this quarter, and uh, I give it to the lady. <laughs> I used to do them myself. But it's funny to say I give them to the lady. But I give them to the lady, and then that's it. That's all you do. It, it it literally takes me just a few hours to be able to get it done. It's just a matter of whether you want to do it or not. Which, just compelling yourself to actually do it is probably the most difficult part. Honestly. Because that is kind of a pain in the ass. Should I make her legs really fuzzy? I should make her legs fuzzy. I should make her legs fuzzy. But only... Like right here, so it looks like she's she's got them them boots, them sexy boots that the ladies wear, which don't really fit her at all. <laughs> she, I, I, I kind of like her now. I didn't really like the direction I was heading with her, but I don't know there's something about the fact that she's just so awkward, like the mentality I have of her of her now. Like she went from being this. Like, she went from being cute, strong lady, like, sexy, strong lady. Now she's kind of just a joke of a character. Like, what am I doing? What's going on? I'm a spider? Oh, God. What's this coming out my ass? And it's like that. Anyways. <laughs> so here we are. Here's the, the little lady, I guess. She's still not quite drawn the way that she's supposed to be drawn. I think it's mainly because of this leg right here. Probably needs to be... Nah. Yeah, it's weird. 
one of those things again i would just have to keep working working on it it's kind of strange as long as it's uh coming back from this leg over here that's fine weird okay anyways i not practice enough at drawing uh, spider women's butts and legs <laughs> and loincloths <laughs> the long cloth is especially weird. here let's let's pretend that she's got like spats on or something out here i don't it must be hell to put on pants for spider lady thing whatever the hell she is bless her little heart she has no idea what's going on in life does she okay let's give her some little those little tufts of uh kind of spider hair so it lo looks like she's even crazier <laughs> I like her now. Oh, hold on, hold on. No, we're not done. There's one last thing. The water droplet. She's got to have the water droplet on top of her head. There we go. And this, let's uh, lower my eraser. Actually, hold on. Down to one. So that it looks more like it's going through water real fast. There we go. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Well, not <laughs> absolutely perfect. Absolutely acceptable. There we go. There's our lady. She has no idea where she is. She realizes how poorly drawn she actually is. Like, what the fuck is going on down here? Where's my Where's my perspective lines? Like, it's supposed to be like this, but her body is... Eh, whatever. It's one of those things where I'd have to work back over it a few more times, because I'm not really feeling it today. But you guys get the idea. I don't know what the name her. Uh, what's a stupid uh, jumping spider name? Hold on, let me let me Google jumping spider names. There's probably like a now. Actually, they're probably all fucking Latin names and shit. Actually, hold on. Uh, the jumping spider family though would is uh, let's see what is it? Saltacidae. That's a shitty name. Uh, let's call you. Uh, Sally. Sally, uh... Salad. <laughs> Salad. <laughs> no, uh... Um... Eh, Salad I. Something like that. An awkward name for an awkward lady. Okay, that's good enough, though. Alright, <laughs> so long, Salad I, with your little dumb uh, water droplet on your head. She's actually probably conducting experiments on water, and she doesn't realize, like, where did my water go? And it's been on her head the whole time. And everyone walks in like, how did you get, how did you get a gallon of water on top of your head to form a, a, a bubble? Like, that doesn't even work at our size. What? I have water where? Her, her, her voice obviously would not sound like my sensual tones, but you got, you guys get the idea. All right. So, so long, Saladai. You guys get the idea. Monster Girl, Girl Ahoy. And this is the reason why I went out and do 31 days of Monster Women. Because you get 31 days of things like this where everything is just not quite complete. Like, the whole the, the whole idea is not really quite there. But I might do something like that next year. I'm not sure what it's going to be, though. But anyways. Animation for the shitstorm will be hitting your face <laughs> uh, this is October. Um, Matt said not to release it until this m the month is over, which could either mean this month or the or October. I'm not really sure. I just release it whenever the hell I want to. It'll it'll appear on my channel too, you know, eventually, whenever I feel like it. Right. All right. So you guys go away now, and uh, maybe I'll finish her off one day in like a stream or something. So goodbye, Saladai. You little cutie pie, you. Goodbye, everyone. Go away forever. Well, not forever, but it's, you know, for now.